Hi, this is Chris from Discovery Learning, and I'm very pleased to announce that the latest version of our Topic and Lesson Progression plugin for Articulate Storyline and Adobe Captivate now also supports content produced in Articulate Rise. This is great news for Articulate 360 users who are using this offering tool alongside Learn-LMS to build their online learning experiences. And this feature will be available whether you are using our free plugin available on the WordPress plugin repository or our premium version which includes support for lesson pages that is available to purchase on our website. Let's take a look at this in action right now. So here on our Learn-Demo site, I'm going to log in with our publicly accessible learner account. And in the available courses list, I will click into our lesson and topic progression demo course. I've created a new lesson page here in our course navigation, which I will click into. And as you can see, the layout of my page is nice and clean, with the key feature being this launch content button, which will open my Articulate Rise content in a lightbox window. Notice also that the standard Learn Dash Mark Complete button is not available to the learner. So when we click the button, the module completely fills the screen, so I get all of the advantages of producing content in Rise. And as a learner, I would go ahead and take my lesson as normal. But in this case, when I get to the very last page, you will see that this is where I have included this end of lesson instruction, telling the learner to click this button in order to move on to the next lesson page. If I go ahead and click this, you will see that the page has refreshed. And in my course navigation, the lesson is now marked as complete. Let's now talk about what you need to do in order to get this to work in your own LearnDash environment. When working on your digital learning content in RISE, by default the ability to activate JavaScript using something like an interactive button is still not possible. However, RISE does now include the ability to insert a Storyline block, so we can go ahead and build our JavaScript interaction in Storyline 360 in order to have this trigger in our RISE module. So here in Storyline, I've created my block which includes the button for the learner to click. The most important thing to be aware of is how to format your JavaScript. And this will be the same whether you are going to either embed your RISE module directly onto your lesson or topic page, or whether you're going to be opening the content in a Lightbox window, as I have using a Lightbox plugin. The usual command required to make our plugin work begins with parent dot, but in the case of Articulate RISE, we have to change this to top dot. This is how we get the storyline element of the RISE module to speak to our Learn Dash environment. With this in place, we can go ahead and publish the storyline project to Articulate 360 so that we can include this in our RISE project. We then go ahead and publish the course, which only needs to be in web format. Once this is done, Go ahead and upload the course to your web server and make a note of the address to link to the index.html file in order to launch the course. Now that we're back in LearnDash, I have my lesson page ready to link to my RISE module when this image is clicked by the learner. I want to have my content launch in a lightbox, so I'm using the free WordPress plugin called WP Video Lightbox, which we have a completely separate tutorial video on showing you how you can use this in LearnDash. Once that's in place, I can click the publish button and my lesson page is ready to go. I had to do some tweaking within the Lightbox CSS files in order to get the window to properly resize, but once you get this right, the result is really nice. And just to show you, it also works well on mobile devices when you set the lightbox width to be 100% of the screen size. You can grab the latest version of our plugin today. And good luck building your next level learning experiences in LearnDash LMS.